Greetings guys, Sonny Angel here, and today I'm here to play, or uh, we're not really here to play, we're here to make a discussion, that's right, a discussion, today we're going to discuss, um, did Link Summoning ruin the band? Now you may be wondering, what the fudge does that mean? Well, um, okay, so, if you don't know, in, in, uh, there, there was a Yu-Gi-Oh series called Yu-Gi-Oh's Exile, or something, something on the lines of that. It was U basically the one with Human number thirty-nine and Astral and all of that, right? So, basically, there were cards such as uh, Tim Tempo and uh, Mel Melody and Miser Miser Rhythm. Yeah, those were the cards we saw. I don't remember seeing Mistro or Hum Humming, but those were the cards I remember seeing from. Okay. Alright, whatever. Oh, fuck. The Joey deck is not the best to do this with, but basically what, I, what I'm saying is this band of cards, these cards that are based around music, um, and I'll flash each of the them on the, street, the screen as I say their names. So, Future Sai, get on that shit. If this motherfucker doesn't learn... How to say the motherfucking word, please. I swear to God, one day this man will end up in the bottom of a river. Future Sai signing out. Hum humming, Miserism, uh, Mel Melody, Tim Tempo, and Maestro. These cards that were best played together because they're a band. Are now forced to be played apart due to Link Summoning. Link Summoning has ruined this band. And each of them has their own effect. We'll start with the leader of the band, which is Maestro. I'm sorry, I was focusing on the duel. Once per, once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card to target one face up attack position monster your opponent controls. Change it to face down defense position. If a face up the Jin monster you control would be destroyed, you can detach one exceeds material from this monster instead. So, Maestro was your basically the guy. He was he was the one you wanted to play the most, right? He was the one you wanted to get on the field first because he was the key to keeping all of your other Dijins safe and sound. <clears throat> but now that that's not really a play, an optimal play anymore because you can't keep all the, you can't have more than one monster on the field or one Xyz monster on the field at a time. It really just cripples the deck and that's just, it was, it's fucked up because I literally just got some of these cards, right? But, um, there's also like, and that's just Mistro, right? So Mistro give is, it's the card that provides you most attack. It provides you, um, it provides you your 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 band essentially the defense mechanisms they need, right? So, with that being said, it's like now that you can only have one Xyz monster on the field, you, all of your Dijins are basically fucked, right? All of your Dijins are well, they're not fucked, but they have less protection than they usually would have. <clears throat> Such as, we're, we're going to go to the next one. This one actually appeared in the show, I'm pretty sure. Tim Tempo. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card to target one Xyz monster your opponent controls. Detach one Xyz... M m fucking hell, you're confusing me. This guy who's talking, um... I'll start over. Fucking hell. Once per turn, during either player's turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. To target one Xyz monster your opponent controls, detach one Xyz material from that monster. And all face-up mon uh, and all face-up Dijin Xyz monsters you control currently gain 500 attack. So, Tim Tempo provided your Dijins with attack, right? So, Tim Tempo. Uh, Tim Tempo gave all your Dijins attack power, right? So, with the combined powers of Maestro and Tim Tempo, you already had a pretty strong power-up team, right? Maestro giving Tim Tempo the power to stay alive. 
Tim Tempo, giving all of the your Dijins 500 attack points, really just powering them up. And it's like, now that you can only have one Xyz monster, and Link Summoning doesn't completely ruin them, but you're no, you can't really use the, um, the attribute cards, because if you guys don't know, or you probably already know, Every Xyz attribute, or, sorry, every attribute is going to get a Link monster. That being said, which is pretty good for most decks, right? Well, all of these monsters have different attributes. Maestro has a dark attribute. Tim Tempo has an earth. Um, Mela Melody has a light. Mesorhythm has air. And Hamaming is a, is a water. So... All of them have a different uh, ability, so it's just, if it wasn't bad enough that, you know, um, basically your monsters are all just different attributes, or, sorry, that's not what's bad. If it wasn't bad enough, you can't play them in comparison to each other. Now you have to worry about um, not being, in fa fact, it's not really... It, if it wasn't bad enough, it's basically, oh, this sucks, now this is hap Now there's also this preventing this from happening. It's just like, oh, well, great. And, it, and it, you know, I really like how these cards worked. If, if there was any string of cards that showed teamwork, it's these cards, you know? But now that all these cards can't really be played in comparison and now they're doubly fucked because now since they're all different attributes it's like oh if this wasn't bad enough this also stops me from finding a way out so it's like it's bad you know anyway we're gonna move on to the next monster I'm sorry I'm kind of trying to do uh, while uh, attacking you know this is a flip effect why, why not activate it Alright, let's do that. I'm going to get back to the discussion. Don't worry about it. I'm just... Equip on the And you contribute to the equipment. That's one wall shadow. Okay. <clears throat> Next up is... Mela Melody. The Brass Dijin. Uh, once per turn... Oh, if you wanted to know what the other Dijin names are called. Mistro is the Symphony Dijin. And Tim Tempo is the Percussion Dijin. You probably already knew that because, well... The series has been out for a fucking long while, but whatever. Anyway, and there's also the structure pack, but whatever. <clears throat> Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card to target one Dijin Xyz monster you control. This turn, that monster can attack twice per turn. So, Melody, so basically what you have is Maestro providing your monsters beefy defense, Tim Tempo giving your monsters power to attack, and Mel Melody providing the overpower, you know, the enough power to hurt so you have all of these these essentially you have you already have a team of three very powerful monsters right you already have a team of three very strong monsters but it only just keeps getting worse and worse and worse And, um, I'm sorry, I'm kind of focusing on the duel a little bit. Um, sorry. So, w w these three, as you can see, already are shaping up to be a pretty powerful triple team, right? You have all this power already, as it is. And now, enter, enter this, now enter Mizermirth Rhythm. Fucking these names, bro, they're hard to say. Um, let me just attack real quick. Let me go, let me go into attack mode real quick. Real quick. Mmm, <clears throat> bitch. And I think this duel is going to be over. I said ranked was over, was finished, not the actual game. How do you guys like this deck build, by the way? You know, it's it's very warrior essential, but it's, it hasn't been doing too good to me. For me against player matches. I'm just gonna okay now Mizamurtham while he's doing his turn. Oh wow. That's fucking yikes. Okay. Mizamurtham the Okay, let me say his name right for fuck's sakes. Mizu Rhythm, 
the string de gen. Uh, this man can play, uh, fucking guitar. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, during the damage step, when a Dijin Xyz monster you control is attacking an opponent's monster, you can detach one Xyz material from this card. The attacking monster's attack is doubled until the end of the turn. The effect of Miserhythm, the string Dijin, can only be at used once per turn. So, it's, it's, it's... <sighs> The more I look at this team, it so far has been very powerful. Now, obviously, you're not going to get four Xyz monsters on the field. If you can, God, you're a pro at this game. But if you can, you know, fucking good job. You fucking make me look like fucking really bad at the game. But, um, I'm actually going to draw this duel out to, uh, to get something. But anyway, um... If you all focused all of this on the Maestro, you could potentially have at least a 4,000 or even more attack points on the field. Like, it, it's just, it's that insane at how good these guys work together. And you know, it's it's not, it's not a surprise. It's, it shouldn't come as a surprise. These cards were made to go with each other. It's, it's not a surprise or anything. I'm just going to end this duel actually. Uh, so, but as you can see already, some of these cards can combo very well to each other, with each other, right? And, you know, if you think about it, yes, it is very hard to get more than one Dijin on the, f more than three max Dijins on the field, right? Wrong. If one of your Dijins were killed, you can possibly have four Dijins on the field. That being Hum Humming the Key Dijin. When this card is special summoned, you can target one Dijin Xyz monster in your graveyard, special summon it, then you can uh, attach two cards from your hand to it, it as Xyz material. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from this card, then target one Dijin monster you control. This turn, it can attack your opponent directly. So, if it's not bad enough that you have all this power, you could essentially get Mel Melody, Hum Humming, and Miserhythm, if you could get those three cards on the field, and then somehow figure out a way to get Maestro on the field, Tim Tempo would probably not be on the field at this point, you could essentially have Maestro hit for 8,000 or more attack points, right? Because of the double hit. But Link Summoning basically ruins this whole idea of this this team working together. And, you know, it's, it's not really something that everybody was worried about, because I'm pretty sure not a lot of people were playing it at the time. Anyway... People were, oh my, okay, we got the labyrinth, hell yeah, okay. What the fuck? These walls form a labyrinth with no exit for enemies. Yeah, it's bullshit. These guys were uh, kind of made to fuck over their opponents. Uh, talking about the Par Par brother, or the Paradox Brothers, not the cards I'm talking. I mean, yeah, same thing, but anyway. So, I just wanted to bring that up to attention. These cards that were made so well for each other are no longer an optimal choice of cards. Now, I still run them in my extra deck, because why the fuck not? It's it's still a optimal. It, it's still, if you can get them on the field, okay. It's still cool. And, you know, maybe maybe if I get um, other cards out on in the game, right? Maybe if I get other Link monsters that I, that I vibe with, that I... I appreciate using maybe if I can get them on the field maybe uh, I'll be able to at least combo into two Dijin monsters right <clears throat> and if I can get two Dij even two Dijin monsters on the field at the same time are very powerful and can really hurt your opponent right so that's my that's my theory you know uh, as I said not many people so to speak, really would cr really care that th this is no longer a thing. But to me, it's like, oh, this was a badass thing at one point, and now it's not. So it's like, it's another reason why I hate Link Summoning. It's really just a bad thing overall. Um, it's ruined this deck, essentially. And again, I will put the cards on the screen that way. My rambling, my jumbled rambling won't be the only thing you 
try to hear for. You can also take a look at the cards. Um, hmm. I think I'll, uh, I'll go for the one I've always been going for. I'm going to go for um, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon once more. We're going to end this video with a, a multi, a two-pack multi-summon. Why not? Why not? Just go for it. Let's see if we can get it. You guys may witness me get really happy off of Duel Links. Mm, you may not, actually. You get out of my face, get out of my face, get out of my face. It's great. It came out of the... <laughs> Excusez-moi. Am I going to get it? I'm getting every UR except the one I want. This is... Uh, tribute one other monster, and if you do, summon one fusion monster from your <gasps> extra deck, but the, oh, ah, whatever. <laughs> still not a bad card. Still a really good card. Okay, whatever. Still a really good card. Anyway, that'll end my video. So, what do you guys think about the Dijin, the musical Dijins? I like them. I wish that they weren't so fucked over, but it's how it is. It's how, it, it's how, it's how... Konami sort of figured it out to be. Let me know what you think. I like them. Uh, said that already. So, I guess it's just time to end the video and stop fucking stalling, Psy fucking Angel. Alright, anyway. Psy Angel, signing out. Greetings guys, I am here today I'm going to play What is my signature monster, aka what dual monster from Yu-Gi-Oh am I? Now I wonder what I'm going to get. I'm crossing my fingers on Celtic Guardian because that's the most fucking favorite card that is. But I know it's probably going to be uh, some generic like fucking Blue Eyes or Dragon or fucking uh, Dark Magician. <clears throat> you meet a cute girl or boy. What do you do? Just stay out of his or her sight, just hang about and wait till she notices you. Go up to him or her and ask to be friends, ask him or her out.